Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Oliver here today to do a little writing with you. So, I know the writing that you are doing today is all about writing about a story that you like. So, I did the writing and we're going to talk about it a little bit. So, when I did my writing, I made sure to remember all of my rules that we've been working on. Using finger spaces, using punctuation at the end of my sentence, and starting with a capital letter. But today, I really want you to focus on doing one other thing. Sounding out and really stretching out your words when you're writing. So, let's look at my story and we'll talk a little bit about that. Alright. Here we go. Can you already tell what story I chose that I liked? So I wrote, I like the story Rainbow Fish. Here's my capital letter, my spaces look good. My picture matches my sentence. I have a period at the end of my sentence. But there's one other thing I really tried to do when I was writing today. I didn't know how to spell rainbow. So I had to try really hard to sound it out. So I did the best that I could and I sounded it out. R A N B O. Did I do a good job? Yeah, I sounded it out the best I could so that you could read my writing. I like the story Rainbow Fish. Then I wrote I like the colorful fish. Now, same thing happened. I wasn't really sure how to spell colorful. So, I stretched it out and this is what I did. I started with the first sound I heard. K -k -k -k. What do you hear next? K uh, oh, er, color, uh, wool. Colorful. There's a couple different ways you could have tried to spell it. If you really sounded it out and stretched out your words, you might have gotten something that looks like this. And this has a bunch of different letters with sounds that sounds like colorful. So that if someone was reading my writing, they'd be able to come up with the word colorful. So I really stretched out my words there. Then I wrote one more sentence because I really wanted to try to write three sentences in my story. I wrote, he shared his scales, because that was something that happened in the story. But this was a little tricky because I knew how to spell he and his, and I found those my, are my sight words, but I wasn't sure about the other two. So I did the same thing, and I did the best that I could for the word shared. So I knew my digraph was there. And what do you hear next? Sh a r d. Shared. So I tried my best to write the word shared. And then I wasn't sure how to write the word scales either, but I sounded it out. S k a l scales. Scales. So again, I stretched it out, I sounded it out, and I got as many letters on the paper as I could so that you could read my writing. And that was what I really worked on when I was writing my story today. So when you go and write your story, remember you can start with something like this, I like the story, and talk about a story that you like. Or if that's really tricky, you can start with I like and talk just about something that you like. If you're having a hard time remembering about a story that you like, just talk about something that you like and try to write your three sentences if you can. Make sure your pictures match your words. Make sure to have capital letters, finger spaces, punctuation, and really try today to sound out and stretch out your words the best that you can. All right, I hope you enjoyed my story. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.